Hi everyone, in this video I'll be showing some of the new tool orientation functionality coming soon to Fusion 360. When machining complex parts you may encounter features which are inaccessible to the machine tool. This can be due to the current tool axis orientation and can be highlighted using accessibility analysis. To use the accessibility highlighting, click on the inspect drop down button and select accessibility analysis. Select the part we are manufacturing and then specify the current direction of our tool orientation. We can see that the area under the rib on this part is shaded in red, which highlights the regions that are not accessible. If we change the machining direction, the accessibility analysis updates to show us the regions that are not accessible from the new orientation. To machine these areas, we need to change the tool's orientation. Currently in Fusion, we can do this by selecting the geometry tab in the toolpath setup and orientate the tool direction by selecting model-based geometry features, such as faces, edges, or cylindrical surfaces. We have now introduced new functionality inside the tool orientation options to give you easier control on how to orientate your tool axis. The first of these enhancements is the ability to use surface normals to control the tool axis. By selecting the surface normal and either the X or Y axis from the drop-down menu, we can define the z-axis of the tool as a normal to any point along a part surface. This is useful when defining the tool axis on complex shapes that have doubly curved surfaces or parts with no flat surfaces. When the mouse pointer is moved along the surface, a live representation of the tool z-axis is shown to aid us in choosing a suitable position. Dynamic drag handles can then also be rotated to modify the tool's turn and tilt relative to the selective point. It's worth noting that the surface normal selected is associative to the part, so if the surface is modified in the design workspace, the tool axis will automatically update when the tool path is recalculated. Another new function inside the tool orientation options is align to view. With align to view, we can quickly align the z-axis of the tool to be normal to your current view by adjusting the turn and tilt values automatically. If needed, these turn and tilt values can be changed by using the dynamic drag handles or entering the values directly. Thank you for listening. If you want to learn more, please click on the link below.